So I wonder what we've got today. Have we got the magic or I think we can simply take this pawn cow. It's simplifying the game, I think. You never can be too sure. Okay, simple capture. So we get the key thing which is the 20 pointer but I'm not really a fan of this kind of position I think I've mentioned it before you come here attacking this pawn I mean the king can go back but somehow they end up winning ownership of the file this key file here but I'm gonna stick with what we do so we'll just attack the pawn because it's got no protection on so they're attacking so we'll just smaller piece attacking a higher piece so it looks like they're giving us tempo to actually get the pawn so it might be something new just because I've got a pawn doesn't mean I'm winning anything it just means I've got a pawn we need to look at improving the position on the board the rook is going to be challenging the bishop we do have space he is also challenging our pawn Bishop can come back, but it'll get challenged. Knight can come up. Don't really like putting the knight in front of the bishop either. You know, it's defending the pawn. We could push this pawn, opens up space in front of our king, but it is a wide squared bishop, so it's not necessarily going to put a check on the king. That's where bishop could come here, blocking the um, castling rights. So that's something to think about as well. Could bring the bishop out, which kind of stops the knight from being able to take the pawn. And plus it advances a piece as well. So I'm actually going to do that because it's x-raying through to the king. So it's a bit messy, it's a bit scrappy. We'll see what happens. Okay, so as we said, going to attack here. The bishop does have space to manoeuvre. Uh, which is best? Quite like this because I still don't want to block the pawn. But if it has to sit here, it has to sit here. I like it because it can come back into the center a little bit and manage maybe this square. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just bring the bishop back. Okay, small piece attacking a higher piece. If we do bring the bishop back, he will still keep on moving. So it's kind of, in a way, the wanting to stop us from castling. So they're doing these things to give us something to think about. We come here, we pawn, pawn pushes down. Bishop can come here, we will be attacking this pawn, which has no protection on. So either the rook comes to protect or the knight dances to here protecting the pawn at the same time as attacking this pawn we could castle hmm I think we'll go with that continuation at this moment in time just bring the bishop back just bringing it here to attack the pawn I think the knight does come here maybe to defend or Maybe it goes back to defend, which hopefully might give us a bit of a chance to castle. They do have a half open file on the pawn here. So all these kind of things I'm thinking about, but it's all based on what the opponent actually does. I 
do think they'll be coming with this poor manoeuvre here. Was that a bishop move? Also, well, they can't castle because they've already moved the king. So, do they lose a bit of tempo allowing us to castle? Or are they looking to come and support this pawn? Going to castle. Then maybe get the knight out. But really, it's going to be some open file. So, I think we'll be trying to own this file here as best possible, both of us. Okay, ah, so he's a double attacking, well, he's attacking the pawn. So we could bring the knight here, it's just that it's on this open file, it's going to be challenged. <laughs> or we could bring the bishop to attack, but then he has a semi past pawn could attack the bishop knight can't take because they've got the x-ray through <clears throat> could attack his bishop but we don't really want the bishop coming here because then the knight's going to be coming here he's got like three pieces on that pawn got the bishop protecting but so that's a nice little pattern that they've got going there um, bring the knight through defending the pawn. I don't really like it. Don't really like it, but he's wanting his bishop to come here so that, you know, if we did push this pawn, then he's going to be on our king. So, kind of mindful of that. Although we do have maybe the bishop coming and attacking here as well. Small potatoes. So probably the king's coming here then if he's looking to get his rook coming to attack our knight. So I feel like I'm a little bit backward here. No, it's attacking. So we could go with what we kind of said, which was attacking the bishop. So if we attack the bishop, knight can't take because it's got the x-ray through. So the bishop takes, pawn takes. Then we've got like a kind of pawns there by itself. So it's going to be easily challenged with the rook coming here once the queen comes here. We can support it. Hmm. Or we can bring the bishop back. Or we can bring the bishop here. We have options. Could even go here. Which one's going to be the best one? I like that. I'm not really a fan of this because, again, I've got two pieces in the centre there. This one's okay because it stops the knight from jumping here. But it's kind of hiding it away, isn't it? Could come here. If we attack, it takes... Then it's got this semi pass thing, but it's got no protection on, so we could challenge it with a rook. And this rook comes and supports. Mm -hmm. But then, if his king moves, then his knight can take the pawn. So if we go there, bishop takes, pawn takes, moves the king, so that it's off of the, boom, boom, boom. don't really want to take because it's got options of this, this, which is the better move? Get the bishop off. We're plus one at the moment, so in a, in a sense, 
I mean, it's only plus one, it's nothing major. But we could attack and just simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. I don't think it's that bad. Let's go with it. I don't think it's that bad. Rather than bringing it back and being a little bit too arty, I think, you know, just bringing it back to see what the opponent does, maybe be a bit proactive and see what we can get off the board strategically. Because their king is still a little bit airy. I don't think they're going to move. Obviously, they're going to take, I think. We take. Again, it just depends what the opponent does. And I don't want to burst my brain. So they do take. So we're going to capture. I think the king's going to move because he doesn't want this x-ray on. Do we actually take the knight off the board then? Or do we just bring the knight here to attack his knight? Ooh. Yeah, so they're attacking. So we can attack this unprotected pawn that we mentioned earlier. Rook probably comes to defend. No, he's captured the pawn. Take the pawn here. So at the moment, still plus one. Really wanting to get a position to squish his king. So now he's got, like, don't forget, he's got this rook and he's got the bishop targeting this pawn. Our bishop could attack his rook, which is then obviously going to maybe potentially win a pawn. I'm really focused on just getting this rook here x-raying through to his king. Maybe we do that this first. Or does the bishop take the pawn? Rook takes, rook takes. I don't think they're going to do that, are they? Okay, let's just bring the bishop here. If the rook comes to protect, obviously the bishop can take. So I'm not sure, we're feeling half decently okay, but it's still a bit tricky. The king can't castle. We're trying to focus on getting here. Don't want to be greedy munching, but we can take. There's no threat on our king at the minute. Maybe coming to protect this pawn. I'm really just wanting to get an x-ray through here, if I can. But they're just slowing us down a little bit. So plus two at the moment, but is my position okay? We're jostling for that position as best possible because he's got targets here. Hey, okay, so he's coming for the pawn. So if we. Oh, sorry, one second. Too eager. The bishop can take this pawn with a check on the king. So I don't think there's any threats there. So we're going to take with a check on the king. The king's moved in, so he's going to have a safe haven here with his virtual castling situation. Okay, knight, knight could come here, attacking the bishop. Am I going to fall foul of being... What about this rook? Get this rook here to potentially come here, but he's, we know he's going here. This pawn is going to be taking the pawn. He's going to get two pieces there, so I'm going to have to take... The reason I'm going to have to take or push on to the knight, rather, even... Push on to the knight, but where am I sending the knight to? Uh, da, 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 da. We don't have many places. One, two, three. So even exchanges with the rook. There. Goes there, gets taken. We can't go here. We can't go there. So could push on to the knight and then just get it off the board. So then at least we're reducing the pieces down. So where does his rook, his rook takes if he goes here? Do, do, do. Still don't feel I've developed my pieces as best as I can. 
capture, capture. I don't think that's going to work, is it? So I'm going to push on to the knight and see what happens. I think we're willing to go for an exchange, just take the bishop knight off the board and try and get... I don't know, I might have given him strength, you know, I might have given him strength. Gets his king to safety, gets his rook across here, challenging here. Thanks for the follow, Black Ace, 567NQI. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they've gone there, so... We did say we were going to exchange, but just to have a look at the picture again. I don't think there's anything different to what we're going to do. So I'm just going to take it off the board, just keep it simple. Knight can come and put some pressure on the rook for a moment. I think we'll do that. It's also protecting this area a bit. King's slipping in here, rook's coming across here. But not straight away, they have to move the rook first to attack the knight, probably. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, I don't know if it was a resignable thing. We're plus three, so we were slowly but surely taking pieces away from them. And yeah, okay, that was um, fairly enjoyable. Okay, back in again. Okay, going for the main frying liver type thing. See if we can defend the way we've been trying to practice. Oh dear. So the night's out. Okay, this is going to be a major. I think they have to drop here, do they? Or else we can practice that taking the pawn thing and pushing here. Oh, we can do it. Oh, am I brave enough to do it? Uh, it's a bit messy, isn't it? Let's go for it anyway. Sometimes I get it wrong because the position is not quite right. So I'm going to push here onto the bishop. Because we've got the support of the queen here. It's not my favourite of opening type things, but I do like to practice that one sometimes because it does kind of throw the opponents off. It's just that positionally, I'm not too sure it gives me what I need really okay let's just take here it all depends what they put whoa what's this is that new is that fresh that looks that looks like it's winning for them let's just bring the bishop here so it's even Stevens at the moment They've got two pieces in my um, in my lair. Is the queen going to get involved somehow? Maybe not there. Maybe come in here. Ooh, what do we do with that? Castle? Yep. So the knights move. So I'm, I'm hoping they've lost the tempo doing that. Small piece attacking a higher piece. Castle? It's a funny, funny night move, that isn't it? Hmm. I thought they would draw ordinarily just take them the night. Hmm. Let me see. So they do capture, they do capture here. This is just the weird kind of opening um, position. He can get to safety here. He can actually attack the bishop there. So let's just castle before we think about attacking here. Or if indeed we are attacking there at all. I'm going to attack the bishop. 
So obviously the knight has got this space to attack our bishop, so we're conscious of that. I mean, he could still do it if he's wanting to keep his bishop on the board. So for momentarily, they've blocked their own bishop. So I'm going to, well, if we attack, just remember, we attack, he can still come here and attack our bishop to where we want him to go. That's the key thing. Shall we just leave the knight there or what? What's the deal? Attack the knight from here. In fact, it'd be nice keeping the knight there because it's blocking the bishop in from actually playing in the game. Could squeeze the knight up, queen up here. That looks like an annoying position for the queen, but can the knight... Can put a check there on the queen, but that's about it. I suppose it's going to come and challenge the bishop, as we said before, to open up space for the bishop. So what's the queen actually going to be doing here? Does it have a horizontal with the bish? Not really. Does it go there? Oh, maybe the queen goes here. I mind you, if we do push the pawn, the pawn's blocking the queen, so he can still come there. Interesting times. Many options could just bring the rook across, supporting the pawn. Because uh, no doubt that's going to be attacked. If we bring the bishop here, we do have like an x-ray through to the rook, which will be a bit annoying. Obviously, this pawn is going to drop, but if we do take... And it kind of doubles the pawns a little bit. I think they're going to go with that one. It's attack and it's an attack. So it's attacking two pieces. After all that. But it all depends on what the opponent does. So the queen is coming down, attacking the unprotected pawn, which the bishop was protecting. So if the bishop takes the knight, the pawn kind of really is going to take. So it's doubled the pawns there. And have to be careful, don't forget. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So the pawn will be blocking this pawn. So the bishop doesn't have the diagonal through as yet. So we can bring a rook to protect but then obviously they bring their rook to attack, so they'll have two pieces on there. But we do have that space with the queen to come here. And in fact, this pawn will be, um, this pawn is actually ready to be taken. If we take this, then they take, then our queen can actually take the pawn here. But bearing in mind, his queen can take the pawn here. So it might not, so we'll end up supporting each other. So we'll take the knight off the board, bring the rook here, protecting our pawn. Because we know that this is free, but it's not free free. Although there is a benefit to us actually taking because we're actually on the bishop. So if the bishop then moves, obviously, to here to attack because it's got support of the rooks, our queen can, I'm thinking, can it come and protect? Well, no, it'll just have to take a pawn. Yeah, so I'll have to take a pawn. Their queen can take this pawn. Then our rooks can challenge the bishop. Don't forget this bishop is down here, so he might do something funky like this. Okay, we're going to take and be on the bishop. Bishop obviously is going to... Oh, okay. It's attacking the rook. Move there dead quick, didn't he? Like he got it sewn up. Wow, that was rapid. So we can bring the rook here protecting the pawn. Right. And the queen is in front of our king, but no, nothing supporting at the minute. So we can expect this rook to be attacking our queen. Obviously, we can take the pawn here and be on the bishop. If that happens, but I can't imagine that they're not going to attack the queen. But is it improving our position? His queen is in front of our king, but it doesn't have a piece supporting. The bishop is the one that can support. Are they stealthily getting in there somehow? 
the bishops move to protect the pawn very good so the bishop our bishop can actually take their pawn because we have a 2 one, one but you have to be again you have to be careful with these type of sort of things because we go here then the rook comes and attacks the queen where does the queen go Bishop doesn't have any support on it, so we could go and attack their bishop. But then this pawn can drop down to support the bishop. I suppose then we can bring the queen back down. So let me have a look at them at them apples. That comes here, the rook attacks the queen. Queen comes and attacks the bishop because it's got no protection on. Maybe the bishop just moves out of the way, but I'm assuming that this pawn will drop. So the rook is there. Our bishop is here. Oh, in fact, I can't go on down here with the bishop queen because our bishop is there. I'm just thinking of how to get it out of that fire of... Well, I'll just take the bishop off the board, wouldn't we? Do that again because I feel like I'm messing it up here. Attack the pawn. A rook comes to attack the queen. We attack the bishop. Pawn drops to protect the bishop. Then we just take the bishop off the board anyway. So they could just dance around though with the rooks just attacking our queen. So let's look at that apple. Bang attacks the queen queen comes here rook attacks the queen queen takes the pawn queen takes the pawn but then his bishop takes our bishop yeah so that's it's going to be like a i don't think that's going to work is it if we push our pawn onto the bishop then it gets the bishop away after all of that but he's still going to a challenge our queen. Our queen can just jump here and attack the queen, I suppose. Let's just do that one. Phew, dear me. It's not saying it's right, but it just looked a little bit murky, actually, taking the pawn with the repetition of the rooks challenging the queen. Yeah, so the are attacking the queen so we can bring and come back and attack the queen his queen or am i improving there i don't want to improve their position queen bring the queen back and the queen does a runner but then obviously we take so i think they will take so that then they win the tempo so that at least then the bishop gets away but then we can take the pawn. Something like that, is it? Unless he's fashioning something here. So it's not clear. It all depends on what the opponent does. Um, does have a piece under attack he's got another piece under attack so he's got two pieces under attack at the minute so can he improve his position somehow captures bishop takes in fact the bishop can't take the pawn can it because the bishop's here <laughs> chess master oh I, I don't play masters oh dear <laughs> I want a one one v one. What so? Oh, you mean a game against me? Uh, you know, I'm not a very high rated player. I just like just playing a few games, long play games. But thanks for the offer anyway. Yeah, so this is going to be a little bit murky, I think. I don't think, yeah, so it's going to take, so we capture, moves his bishop out of the way. I really wanted this pawn, but I'm not getting that now. If we 
could maybe push here try and own the file yeah so it's pushed away so if we came back and attacked his rook's going to defend or if we attack his rook shall we just attack his rook yeah, simplifying it into this could end up being a draw even though we're plus one so attack the rook it's not playing ball so we could come back here and attack his pawn he's attacking our pawn at the minute so we could support Thing is, if we went and attacked his pawn, and if he came down and attacked, took the pawn here, then we take his pawn We're on his rook. His rook comes to attack the bishop. Or do we just go and double up? Defend the pawn. Hmm. Which way around does it go? Bishop attacking the rook, rook takes the pawn. Ooh, uh, I'm just going to push this pawn and support the pawn for now. He's allowed us to momentarily own the file, which is good with the rook. So maybe we can swing up and maybe potentially get here. I feel something funky is going to kick off, but we'll have to wait and see what the opponent does. So again, they're attacking another pawn. Okay, there must be something that we can do about this situation. We can attack their rook now. Or we can just push the pawn up simply here for now. Then he pushes his pawn down, maybe try to get some power base with these double pawns. So we'll push the pawn here. I don't want to overthink too much that. Because I'm trying not to give pieces away. This bishop move still looks really enticing because it is attacking this pawn and the rook. Oh, he's attacking everything, isn't he? So again, we're going to bring this through. He's probably looking to exchange off so that his pawn comes here. So again, we're attempting to block off the attacks that the opponent's doing. We're trying to cover the blind spots as best possible and hopefully take advantage of these things but excuse me he does have his bishop that can actually come and protect the pawn so it is the threat to this first and then if the bishop comes then we can bring the bishop here so the queen is out i think it's more scary let's go with let's attack the pawn with the rook first It's nothing worse than setting his plan up and you feel you get in there and then suddenly they just come around the back and cream you out. He does have this bishop but it's not covering this square at the minute. His rook has sights of potentially maybe coming here. Not too sure. Oh, it's just going to come back and defend. We do have the, oh, excuse me, the pawn that can push up if he does actually go there. So our plan is to get this here, once the bishop comes here, this rook can't come here because the bishop will take it, might do some maverick thing like this and then we open up here but then he's owning this file. So he's attacking the bishop, so we want the bishop to come here anyway, so now we do have two pieces on this pawn. Does it improve our position though? That is the key thing. It's all right snapping up pawns, but if it's not really going to be a benefit to me, this rook. Oh, oh, it's going to get. It's going to get my rook. But do we need to lose too much sleep over that? We could take the pawn here, 
but that's not going to be good because it's going to be owning the file. So if we take the pawn with the bishop, then his rook takes, then the pawn takes, bishop's going to be here, rook's going to come up to attack the bishop because it's got no protection. And behind the bishop is the pawn, so he's going to end up getting the pawn back. Hmm. So we could just bring our rook here in support of our rook. Does that sound feasible? Somehow I don't think, um, now we can't push, we won't be able to push the pawn up onto, well we could if the rook goes. So I'm going to bring the rook here to doubly protect in a sense. Again, there's no, nothing set in stone. It's um, all based on what the opponent is doing. And I'm um, so... Oh, the bishop's in the game. So if we bring the rook up to attack the bishop... And it, like I said, he had this plan, didn't it? But I didn't see much weight to it. But it looks like it could start taking shape, couldn't it? Bishop coming here. Maybe we'll have to get the king up. Hmm. Now it's looking a bit too hefty. Oh, he's come there. It's, yeah, yeah. So he's, he's making inroads. So we could take the bishop, be on his rook. And also on this rook as well. So how does that work? He takes, we take. Takes, but, 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 but if he takes our rook, we take his rook with the bishop. No, we don't. We take his rook. Then he moves his rook somewhere. Moves it. Can't move it down because this pawn is there. I'm not too sure about this. You know. Let me see. No checks on his king. I might be overcomplicating it. Take. His rook takes. Pawn takes. I think taking with the pawn is better, isn't it? Because then at least we can push up. Yeah. So I'm actually going to take the pawn, be on his rook, capture with the pawn, if he does take. Because obviously we have to take, because this rook doesn't have any um, protection on it. These situations are just so tight because the opponent doesn't do what you expect them to do. So you've got a pattern in your head as to what you think should happen. But then they come out with something miraculous that I've not even thought of. Bishop. I'm on a white square with the king. I believe this is the better option. So we come, come here and hopefully try and push. If he moves his rook back, then we take the rook with the bishop so he is attempting to squish the king somehow but I don't know just going to push it's at this moment in time my brain is thinking there's no way nothing that can stop this from getting promoted but if it gets promoted does it actually win anything so he's wanting to come down here, put a check on our king. But obviously we're going to win a bit of tempo in that sense. So we're going to put the check on with the queen. Because if he does come down here, we do have this, don't we? We can just move out of the way. Queen can't come here because he's got the pawn there, which is a bit annoying. Because we would have been able to get the rook off the board. Is there any other checks or anything? It's on a white square. We've got a dark square bishop. Do I move the king now? I might as well move the king now, I think. If I move the king now, then it stops any shenanigans. I don't think that there's big shenanigans, but I don't think I have any checks on him. Boom, 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 boom. So I think I'm going to move the king. 
and it's attacking the uh, rook. So it's making it an aggressive king. It's attacking. And if there's some checkmate that I have just missed, that I'm going to kick myself. Oh, and they've resigned. So, wow, that was another interesting game. Uh, long play game. Boom, 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 boom. Just going to capture in the center here, see what this looks like. Oh, I need to change the um my doings, don't I? Yeah. Queen's captured, so I'll just bring the knight out and attack the queen. Shall we go for a simple exchange? Maybe I'm not sure. Let's just go here. Okay, they've gone simple, so let's just grab. Simple doesn't mean you've got an advantage, just means that the queens are off the board and it could pan out to be a draw depending on what the opponent does. So I quite enjoyed these first two games, really simple, straightforward games, good focus targeting, best possible. We'll see what happens in this last game here. Obviously things can turn for the worse, but hey. It's all about the practice, isn't it? It's gone for a far flunk pawn move. Okay. Far flank, not flunk. Mm -mm. Shall we just castle just to get that out of the way? Just maybe look to see if we can push a bit, open up some space for the dark square bishop. This pawn doesn't have any protection at the moment, so if we swing it here just to give my king a bit of company, if they're being aggressive, they're going to hoof here, so we'll take here. I don't think there's anything that can protect the pawn apart from the bishop, so obviously this is coming through, so then they're going to be in the center. I'm going to take just to keep it as simple as possible. We could push on to the knight. So again, opening a bit of space. The knight can move, but trying to simplify, just keep it simple or give the opponent something to think about so that they don't get settled and maybe don't get castled. Or maybe we improve our position before they get castled. Just a general idea, nothing set in stone. I might not get an advantage from it, probably a disadvantage. Um, we could take, let's just take the pawn. He doesn't have to, he might not do that yet because he's going to have a check on our king. He might do that instead. He has done, okay. So let's just take here. So we've got a diagonal through to the rook. Obviously the pawn or the bishop's going to take, probably the bishop. But if the bishop did take, we'd get the pawn then, you see. Okay, so is there some sort of subliminal pressure? We could go here and try and be a little bit fancy, getting the knight up here, looking for this sort of area. Uh, but the knight is blocking that. Because if we go there, the knight's going to take, but the pawn can't take it back. So the bishop will, will win the knight. So if we go there, if they hastily take... And we're still looking for this position here with the knight. But it'll probably all be blocked off. It's just general ideas. And the way I talk, it might sound like I'm some sort of master. I am not a master at all in any way, shape or form. It just play me. So basically it's lost the knight because the pawn can't take because the rook is x-raying through to the king. 
but it doesn't mean anything because at the end of the day it's still equal but we can take with a check on the king and try and improve our position a little bit better so obviously this pawn is going to be defended now by a rook Oh, so pretty tight and going to double up obviously so it's going to push past now so that at least we've already got one piece on there just trying to give them something to think about like the opponent is attempting to do to us as well constantly giving things to think about in the game so he does drop so I'm going to push here just to attack this pawn again just basically give, try to give them something to think about doesn't mean it's the right move doesn't mean it's the super best move or anything like that and if we swing across here, got to be mindful my king doesn't have a flight square, so back rank stuff might start happening. So he's come down defending the pawn, that's a nice touch. Um, I, am, I think I'm going to come back to try and keep owning this open file here with our rook. I think his rook is probably going to look to exchange. We are plus one, but I don't see the advantage of the plus one at the minute. That might start taking shape in a few seconds. Okay, so we could come down and attack again. And this time, if the pawn does push down, obviously he's going to double up his rooks. What am I talking about? He's going to double look, double the rooks here. So then we can swing here and look to get there. Or we could do that first. Could come here. If we go up there, his king can come here. No, he can't go there just yet. No, so he can't do that at all. So if we go up there... He's not going to push that pawn. If we go there, maybe he brings his rook back just to protect the area. Then we can swing back across here. Then he comes back down again. Hmm. So we see how they're playing. Not doing that because he just pushes further down. Get the king across. No. Nope. Doubling the ropes looks a little bit better for me because it does give the option to do this, attack the rook. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. Then he comes back. If he does go back, we can attack the pawn with this rook. Oh dear. <laughs> it does go back. Okay, so that does give us the option to go here. I don't want to clump up my rooks though, but uh, maybe bringing this one might be better. So bring this across, attacking the pawn, the pawn moves down. Bring it across, attacking again, pawn moves down, bring it down. I think that looks better because bringing it here is like jamming my rook in, I think. And plus my king is going to be home alone. But we did say that he was just going to come back down again, didn't we? There, so he's going to come back down. But then if he does come back down, we can come here. Then we've got back rank sort of stuff going on. Let's try that. So it's, it's, it's continued. Did I hear a bing then? No, I didn't. I thought I heard a bing. So he's going for something so if we take then his rook takes oh he's got the back ranker thing i need to move a pawn let's just take and then move the pawn up in front of the king and then we can go there if we're going to be allowed to let's 
see when you're in attack mode all you see is your moves and you know i didn't see the fact yet yeah, boom i do i did know that we need to do some sort of maneuver does he win a tempo bringing his rooks down i think we're kind of ahead by one or two he might even come here himself Dude. but if we get up here because like if he drops which i'm probably expecting him to do and we go up his rook doesn't have a check on our king but we do have a check on his so that would be the back ranker he's moved back so we can come here but what, what happens there we can go there does he then split his rook out so then we're going backwards and forwards or he comes down with a check on the king we move up uh, yeah, I don't see let's just bring the rook here if I've missed something then you learn from it don't you I, I do think we got a bit of tempo boom up ordinarily I think in the past I've seen they just move the rook out of the way so then at least the king can move sideways backwards and forwards for a kind of repetitive draw thing. So it has potential, but then, ah, oh, defended, defended. Now that pawn's going to block that pawn. It's going to drop the pawn down. Do you see? Right, so look, if we go here, that pawn is going to drop down. If we push this, he still has to drop there, doesn't he? Okay, slow potatoes then. Shall we just do slow potatoes and get the king up? And try and support this pawn going up. I'm going to move the king up. There's no rush. And there's nothing worse than keeping a position that isn't going to work at all. So I'm very mindful of that. So he's pushing pawn down. So if we do, not yet. Can the king go and do it? If the king does a walk, because then if this pawn pushes down, although if he goes there, then his rook can just put a check on, can't it? Ooh, interesting. we go there he does some fancy maneuvers or he's not going to push the pawn down is he if we push that then he pushes down if we go there then his rook just takes our pawn and we're giving him a pawn for free so we don't want that do we so if we push this first i think then at least it's supported by this pawn I'm not ignoring what's happening down here, but I'm sure that can look after itself in, a, in its own way, surely. Fingers crossed, I hope. The time has got 25 minutes left. So what can happen? I can expect this rook to be coming here, really, you know, to try and come down here and win some tempo attacking our king. But we kind of do want our king to get up here to, oh, so close. Yeah, one or the other. So it's supporting this pawn. If this pawn drops down, then we just drop up here. So maybe it was meant to go to this square. don't really want to chase it down no let's just keep that uh, da, 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 da. king up what's he doing though let's see there must be something else so he's gone there for a reason 
and it maybe it's to do this but if he does do that we do have a check on his king but he just moves out of the way don't he is it to do that to block the king from coming here or a pawn there's something with that move or is he protecting this pawn but again his king's it's only a momentary check isn't it King up. Pawn drops and I can't get in there, can I? King up. Let's move the king while we're thinking. Um, I'm not sure what this... I think he's looking to... I think they see what I'm trying to do and they're trying to block it off or they're thinking that I'm actually going to take when they push this pawn which obviously I'm not, I'm just going to push past here yeah, okay, so I'm going to push past but then it goes here looking to take the pawn off here that's what I can see so it's going to be probably a repetition of going backwards and forwards even though I'm plus one you know, people go. You should have been. You should have the advantage because you plus one. But I think they're just going to try and come round the back. This pawn's highly elevated. We only have one check on the king. We need to be a bit faster with our king getting up here to challenge this rook. In order to try and make something of this position, or else he's going to be a bit too fast. We move there. He comes down. We move there. Yeah, so he's blocking that off already. So he's lost 10 in terms of that rook coming here. Uh, but that rook is going to come and protect the pawn. But we, we're looking to still push up onto the pawn. If he takes, we take. And we can still kind of try and blast this pawn up here if we can. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't take because the rook is there. Interesting times. Boom. So we move up. His rook moves down to protect. Pawn pushes up. Then we can't take because the queen, the, the rook is there. Wow. So we do have this. But the problem with that is it can still stay on the line. You know, it just drops down or comes here. But there might be benefit to that in the fact that if he does drop here, we can still maintain pressing here. Pawn takes. No, because the rook is still there, isn't it? Yeah, come on, come on, close this down, Let close this attack. I think it's time to attack, but it's just going to go backwards and forwards. King up. Yeah, well spotted, crikey, they saw this, didn't they? Rook comes down. I think I need to strike before them. I need to hit this rook. He comes down to block this pawn from actually going any further. If he comes down to block the rook from coming, we can take this pawn. It's getting a bit messy, isn't it? Attack. He comes down and actually attacks the pawn. Okay. So he attacks the pawn. We could take his pawn. If he did take the pawn, our rook would come here facing off his king. Hmm. 
Hmm, that might be an interesting situation, I think. Let me think. I might be overthinking it and I'm going to end up in a bad position. Let's break it down again. So we attack. See, he does either one or the other. Probably attacking either way. If he takes, then we take, you know, he attacks. We attack here because he's moved off of protecting that one. But he stayed on the line if he's gone further down here. So we would have grabbed a pawn. So we can't go into this square. But we can, <clears throat> can support the pawn pushing up. But then his king can come and attack. Pawn's protecting. Yeah. That looks like it's going to get a bit messy, doesn't it? I'm going to attack it. I'm going to attack it and see what the opponent does. Because obviously, they've been a bit nice and fancy being able to protect. They might not have even been thinking about that. But it looks like a nice position for their rook. So I'm trying to preempt that as best possible. 17 minutes left on my timer. Let's uh, see if we can wind this game down. Another interesting game. Either way, no matter which way it goes. Um, yeah, so they've actually, they're actually attacking. So we could follow this um, track here, couldn't we, of taking, which we discussed. If they take, then we sit in front of their king and probably... <laughs> we've probably missed something where we're going to get trapped ourselves. does take. Um, I'm going to follow the process so far up to this point. I bet I've relinquished something. I mean, his rook can come down and attack here, but we can go backwards. And I think it, I'd end up going for a drawn position if they if they allow me to, if they come down and attack here, all I'm going to do is just keep putting checks on the king if that's what's going to happen. Oh no, have I fallen for something? I think I have, haven't I? How has he done this again? Damn. Ah, oh, crikey. So shall we come down and just defend our pawn here, which probably was going to give us an issue? Yeah. We could take, because we are plus one, we could take. And reducing down should help us, shouldn't it? So we take... Then the king takes. Obviously the rook doesn't really want to stay here. I, I need to get to a position whereby I can come back down again. Because his rook is going to come down and get our pawn. So I'd need to be coming to here. His rook's ready to come down. Then we come here. Yep. I think I'm taking him off the board. Take off the board and just come here and then come back down and see whether or not we can fashion a end game type situation from all of this. My king is in the end. Ooh, so don't really want to do checks because it's going to make him come further down the board. So I'm going to stick with the defence. I'm going to stick with the defence, come back here. And fingers crossed, this past pawn here, maybe that's going to be the one that um, finishes the game for us, hopefully. But if they play it correctly, they'll just block it off and it's a draw. And uh, challenging my king, so... Let's just get that out of the way. See if we can get opposite their king throughout the rest of the game. Just going to want the fashion coming across here somehow. So if we take, take, it's, um, or push, and push, but then I have to sit there, babysitting the pawn. If we take, 
and then they take boom 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 then we can come here then the king has to come down then he's got to babysit pawns all over the place let's take so his rook's gonna have to come across to the, protect the pawn but then we can attack this pawn here so his rook does go across so we can attack this pawn now with the rook so his rook can't defend two pieces and his king's a little bit too far up the board at the moment so again fingers crossed hopefully this position um, is advantageous for us it's looking pretty okay-ish because the king is so far away we should be able to hopefully manage these pawns to get some type of promotion it all depends what they do um, so the, diff, the area that we want to consider is probably capturing here then if the rook comes back then we bring the king back but then he's going to be putting checks on the king so we have to be mindful of that type of situation so if we can get opposite their king then that might work for us so i'm going to capture here so the rook's dancing back again so we'll just protect our pawn puts another check on we move across here then he goes back for the pawn again suppose we dance here puts a check on then we just go behind the king and pawn then Okay, so that's the kind of thing I'm thinking is going to happen. So cross, back down again, protecting, just come behind here so that there's no more checks and then we can focus on maybe trying to drive these forward. Okay, so just coming across, goes back for the pawn. Is there anything else? Because I'm more to set to just come back here, but is there anything else? Um, could bring the rook back down, couldn't we? Just to defend the pawn but i think i'm just going to go with this here so then obviously he's going to put the check on the king again and we'll go behind so I'll go behind sit there no more checks now he comes to defend so i can now bring my rook here and see whether or not there's an exchange going on i think there's nothing set in stone he might jump around here to put a check on my king that sort of thing and go upwards and up and down yep so it's uh, looking for the check on the king so we can still come here to attack his pawn his rook comes down putting a check on the king he's looking to take this pawn off the back yep so we go here and oh, if he goes there then he goes there then he actually gets the pawn off the back so we have to watch that tempo yep so in essence probably safer coming back just for now and we have plenty of time we don't need to panic or rush anything so we can come here just to protect the pawn if he still continues with the check then we can come here and we're protected by our rook but we have to be careful because what if he goes here yeah so that's potentially what he's looking for isn't it so if we go here like this, he could actually go there. We don't have to take, because if we did take, then his pawn is highly elevated up the board. So that's a, a, that a quizzical situation to be in. So they found a nice position out of all of that. So essence down. Maybe they come and put a check on king moves out of the way then they move back up attacking the rook the rook can't move per se but it can i suppose it can come back towards the king to get protection and we do have two pass pawns but there's no way made we're taking the, the rook because obviously this pawn is going to get promoted so let's bear all that in mind let's just bring this down here hopefully fingers crossed i'm doing the move order right but that's what they're looking for. It's, that's the magical key thing. 
once they put the check on, obviously then we come back up here, then they're going to come face here, and if we do a knee jerk reaction and take, that pawn gets promoted. So we just bring, yeah, so they're doing all of that stuff. So go here and then just bring the rook with a check on his king. But we can't take that pawn. Magical. Absolutely magical. Magical position that they've achieved from this um, in this game. We've got eight minutes left. Ah, uh, it could end up being a draw. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone round. Eh? He's gone round the back. I don't understand that. Oh, mind you, I suppose in a way, going round the back, I can't really push this pawn up here, can I? And this king can um, stop that from there. Hmm. So. I have this vision. I don't think it's going to get there. Of coming across, coming across and getting down. I don't think they're going to allow that. Or in fact, coming to protect my own pawn. Yeah, so here and here. But for some reason, I think the rook is just going to get to this point. Okay, so long play thinking. Anything else? I can't go up and attack his pawn because obviously he'll just take. So we move the king. Move the king. The rook's protecting here. He's going to have to get his king into the game, isn't he? But I'm hoping if we get across here. So even if he does do that, if we are there already, then we're going to have time to move across here. So he's going to have to block. Interesting. Am I falling into something here? They're doing nothing that I'm kind of thinking they're going to do. I'm still going to continue with this. He doesn't have like those rook x-ray things that rook's still protecting here. His, work, his rook is doing a lot of work. King probably should... I don't want it to, but the, if the king was coming down, looking to cause a bit of trouble. We do have pass pawns on both sides of the board, so it's uh, a little bit tricky. Um, hopefully I'm not falling into anything, but we want to get across here. If they're going to allow our king to take their pawn, that's even better for us. So I think they're probably going to come here to block that off. Could be a draw. Should in my head, I'm thinking, if they played it right, maybe it would be a draw. But if the king moves, we get across here, don't we? So I think the rook has to come here to stop that. And unfortunately, I can't go here. If I put a check on, he's going to be making his way down. push up this rook eventually has to come across here which would allow us to come here with the king he would then take the pawn we take and then we've got two pawns on opposite sides I think this pawn is going to hopefully be the saviour let's do that because then at least we hopefully then can get this pawn off the board still going to try this funky business isn't it but the king is close enough now. Four minutes left. Oh, he's not having it. He's not wearing it. Damn. Ah. So if I move the king so that I stop his king from coming here, he can then do this. And it's going to be on. Do, 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 do. Or if I move this pawn as well, move this pawn, then his rook goes behind the pawn. 
So maybe this pawn is the savior. Just keep pushing one or the other. Oof, dear. Bit tense. Three minutes left. Oh, he's moved, but he's going to try and get my rook. He's going to try and get my rook. But that's not a problem, is it? Surely that's not a problem. Let's keep pushing this one. Because if he takes, then we've got these pawns going on either side of the board. Or is he just going to do check, 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 check. Whilst I'm taking this pawn here. Let's go here. Tricky dicky. He's really just protecting this pawn, isn't he? Like crazy. Just keep pushing. Give them hopefully something to think about. Just keep pushing again. I'm sure the rook could have done something then, but never mind. Maybe not. We at last. Crikey, we're free at last. Do I be annoying and just go and protect the pawn? Or should I just take this pawn? I think I need to take this pawn because that's what they're hoping on. Right. It's just going to be checking, checking, checking. Don't really want to put a check on the king, so I'm not going to blah, 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 blah. Let's bring the rook here. Try and do a protector ma. It could end up being a draw. I might mess all of these movements up. But there's two pawns on either side of the board. We've got rid of their pawn. Um, let's go here. So now, hopingly, it's one minute left on my timer. Damn, I'm going to be doing overtime here. So what's the general idea? Try and keep the pawns protected as best possible and make my way up. Maybe not like that. Come here, but then he then attacks the pawn. The pawn then has no defense. Or go here, he then attacks, then we go back down again. No, if he attacks, then obviously the rook just goes in front, doesn't it? Sometimes they can forget themselves. Forty seconds. Let's push. Oh, my timer, my timer. I'm running out of time. I'm melting. Oh no, he's lost his rook. Maybe not. But at least this pawn can get ramped up because his queen's not fast enough to stop this pawn from getting promoted. Whew. That was a nice monster game. Lots of strategy going on there. Oh, zero seconds. Just as we... Hopefully they're not going to wait out the time. You know, it's one of those positions where you have to probably hold your hand up and say, okay, well played, um, I resign. Okay, 
There we go. So it looks like they're hoping that we get some sort of stalemate thing going on. So we have to be careful. We have plenty of minutes so we can take our time and try and jostle those lovely positions with the end game. Oh, they are. Okay. So king and queen ending. Here we come. Oh, cracky. I'm gonna enjoy a nice little coffee after this session. Interesting situation that is, isn't it? Bom, 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 bom. It's these moments where you think to yourself, ah, they think they're being clever and then you get stalemated. So we're not going to have spent all of this time in this game to stalemate. That's all I've got to promise myself. At the end of the day, I've got 41 minutes. If I stalemate this, I'm giving up chess. It's got a space to go. It's got a space to go. It's got a space to go. It's got to make sure that they've got a space to go too, at least. This is probably his favourite one because he's wanting to be able to jostle moving backwards and forwards around the centre, around the edges. Yeah, okay, so if I just go here, make sure I don't just do it. If I go here, he has a space to go. He doesn't have a space to go here. So he's got a space to go, which is kind of jamming him a little bit further towards the edge. Now they really are taking the time. There's only one space to move to, which is this here. It's not checkmate then either, so I've got to make sure they've got a space to go to. Because if we move here, then he doesn't have any squares apart from this square. So that'll be like the magic square. Boom, 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 boom. goes there, we go up, he goes here, then we can go, this is the fancy ways of doing it, we could go like that, but that would then be need escapes, so tricky dicky, he does have a space to move to. Boom, 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 boom. It only has one space. Well, how do we work from there? Because we need to get it jammed in, don't we? Uh, da, 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 da. Could go for a direct hit. 
then it does have space to go here. Doo, 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 doo. Anything else? Go here. I think I like this one better. I like this one better because it doesn't have anywhere else to go apart from here. And then you have the king opposition, and then the queen just goes here for the checkmate. So I like that because he has a lovely space there to go to. Queen's blocking off this square and checkmate and that is it that is my whole all and it's no the full 90 minutes has been done excellent thank you very, very much for watching listening whichever way it is um good bad chess whichever however you want to look at it um really enjoyed that session